Hi, Christian Lavolsi and welcome. Today, I wanna to share with you three tips for parenting through the holiday stress. Now, let me start by making this caveat. I am no uh, parenting expert, and to be honest, I have struggled. I spend a lot of time working with Lucy on how to be more present and improve my relationship with my children. And if you think that I have energy, multiply this at 10x and then double it as we have two amazing children in Leonardo and Lavender. Holidays are not holiday. And for many of us entrepreneurs and business owners, this is a stressful time of year. We are wrapping up our ventures, managing our people and trying desperately to find the time to be with our family. Now we make a big effort to understand our children and I personally can relate to their strong desire for learning and relentless energy. Lucy and I um, have developed boundaries and rules so that we can maintain some balance, but more importantly, some harmony. Now, here are three big tips that can help you with the holiday stress. Now, make space for big emotions, okay? And it's important to have your children name what they are feeling about their holidays. Now, some examples could be um, anger due to the cancellation of a family holiday due to the COVID restrictions. And this could be tangled up with jealousy or envy about what their school friends or cousins are doing. Now, in some cases, it may be sadness because they are not able to go to Nonna's house and have a sleepover. Now, this may forge the feeling of longing and even worry. But by naming their feelings, you create awareness and get support to them. Now, this empowers you to make better, more informed decisions. The second uh, tip is practice reframing. This is a great exercise and it takes some practice, especially for me. Uh, but with your children, practice finding better feeling thoughts. So instead of you can't go to Nonna's this holidays, say we are going to Zoom Nonna each week and hang out with her remotely. Number three, focus on gratitude. So start a morning ritual, okay? At breakfast, we eat together and we ask each other to share one thing that we are grateful for today. So an example is, I'm grateful that the four of us can get to hang out together for the holidays. I'm grateful that we share Christmas together and exchange gifts. I'm grateful that we Zoom our loved ones and spend time with them. So we find these three tips incredibly useful with our children and it keeps them engaged and aware. If you have any tips, please share them uh, in the comments below as I'm always looking for better ways to manage the holiday stress, but my children. And I hope that you found these valuable for you. Until next time, live with purpose.